Today, I've got something really special lined up for you. A deep dive into the incredible world of building bridges through words. Trust me, mastering this art can be a game changer in your life. So get comfy for just a few minutes because we're about to explore how the power of connection can revolutionize your communication skills in school, at work, and in your personal life with these 10 communication techniques. Number one, active listening. First up, let's talk about active listening. This is not just about hearing the words. It's about understanding the emotions and nuances behind them. Practice this in everyday conversation, and you'll be amazed at how it builds stronger connections. Imagine you're talking to a friend who's had a rough day. They might say, I'm fine. But through active listening, you pick up on the subtle hesitations and the tone of their voice. Instead of just accepting the surface level response, you might pry a little deeper. You might say, I'm sensing that there's something a little more on your mind. You want to talk about it? This simple act of active listening not only shows that you care, but also strengthens your bonds by acknowledging and addressing their unspoken emotions. Number two, empathy. Empathy is a superpower. Put yourself in someone else's shoes. Try to understand their perspective. This not only strengthens your relationships, but also makes you a standout communicator in any setting. Let's say you're working on a group project and a colleague or a coworker seems stressed and overwhelmed. Instead of brushing it off, put yourself in their situation. Imagine the pressure they might be feeling. You could approach them and say, hey, I noticed things seem a bit intense lately. Is there anything I can do to support you or lighten the load? By empathizing with their situation, you not only show that you care about their well-being, but also contribute to a collaborative and understanding work environment. Number three, mindful communication. Mindful communication is key. Be aware of your words and not just their impact. It's not just about talking, it's about conveying your thoughts with intention. This not only avoids misunderstandings, but also adds depth to your conversations. Consider a scenario where you're giving feedback to a colleague. Instead of just blurting out generic comments, take a moment to choose your words carefully. You might say, I appreciate the effort you put into this project and I can see your dedication, but one area we could fine tune for even better results is by being mindful of your communication. You not only provide constructive feedback, but also foster a positive atmosphere where your colleague or coworker feels valued and motivated to improve. Speaking of words and the impact they have to show your intention, I have a scenario I'd like for you to try. If you could tap that thumbs up to show you like this kind of content and consider subscribing to my channel, it would mean the world to me. And it tells the YouTube algorithm that the bridge of communication between us and people who will be watching this video later was successful. Thanks, they and I truly appreciate it. Number four body language. Now, let's talk body language. It's a silent language that speaks volumes. Maintain good posture, make eye contact, and use gestures to enhance your message. Trust me, people will remember not just what you said, but how you said it. Imagine you're in a job interview. As you answer questions, you sit up straight, maintain eye contact, and use open gestures. This not only conveys confidence, but also shows that you're engaged and enthusiastic. On the other hand, slouching or avoiding eye contact might give off a different kind of impression. By being mindful of your body language, you're not only making a positive impact during the interview, but leaving a lasting impression that goes well beyond your words. Number five, the power of storytelling. Storytelling is an art that transcends generations. Whether you're in a boardroom, in an online meeting, or chatting with friends, a well-told story captivates and resonates. So, polish your storytelling skills. It's a secret weapon in effective communication. Let's say you're at a networking event and you're asked to introduce yourself. Instead of listing your achievements, weave them into a short, engaging story. You might say, I discovered my passion for problem solving during a challenging project where we had a tight deadline. One day, against all odds, we came together as a team and not only met the deadline, but exceeded the expectations. This not only showcases your skills, 
but also creates a memorable and relatable narrative that sparks interest and connection among your audience. Number six, constructive feedback. Giving and receiving feedback is crucial. Learn to offer constructive criticism and be open to receiving it. It's a growth mindset that will not only help you improve, but also enhance positive connections with others. Let's say you're collaborating on one of those group projects and a team member provides you with feedback on your part of the work. Instead of getting defensive, embrace the opportunity for growth. Respond with, thanks for your insights. I see where I can make those improvements and I appreciate your input. On the flip side, when offering feedback, focus on specific areas for improvement rather than general criticism. This creates a culture of continuous improvement and strengthens the bond within the team. Number seven, finding common ground. Finding common ground is like building a bridge. It connects people. Identify shared interests and experiences, whether you're networking, collaborating on a project, or just making friends. This technique is golden. Imagine you're in a new workplace and want to build connections with your coworkers. During a casual conversation, you discover that they share a love for a particular hobby, like hiking. Use this common ground to your advantage. You might say, I heard there's a great trail nearby. Would you be interested in joining me for a weekend hike? This not only helps break the ice, but also forms a genuine connection beyond the professional setting, making your workplace experience more enjoyable and collaborative. Number eight, flexibility and communication style. Flexibility in communication is key, especially in diverse environments. Understand that people have different communication styles. Being adaptable ensures that your message is well received by a variety of audiences. Picture this, you're part of a global team with members from various cultural backgrounds. In a virtual meeting, instead of sticking to one communication style, adopt your approach. Some might prefer direct and concise information, while others appreciate a more indirect and contextual explanation. By being flexible in your communication, you ensure that everyone on the team understands and engages with the content, again, fostering a collaborative and inclusive work environment. Number nine, positive reinforcement. Let's not underestimate the power of positivity. Offer genuine compliments, acknowledge achievements, and spread positivity. It not only boosts morale, but also creates a positive environment that promotes effective communication. Consider a scenario where a colleague just completed a challenging project. Instead of just moving on to the next task, take a moment to express your appreciation. You might say, I wanna commend you on the exceptional job you did with the project. Your dedication and attention to detail truly made a difference. By acknowledging achievements and spreading positivity, you not only boost your colleagues' morale, but also contribute to a workplace culture where people feel valued and motivated to excel. Number 10, conflict resolution. Last but not least, let's talk about conflict resolution. It's inevitable, but how you handle it defines your relationships. Learn to navigate conflicts calmly, find common ground, and strive for win-win solutions. It's a skill that will serve you well in every aspect of life. Imagine you're working on a team project and there's a disagreement about which direction to take. Instead of escalating tensions, initiate a calm discussion. Say something like, I understand we have different perspectives. Let's find some common ground that aligns with our project goals and get through this the best we can. By addressing the conflict calmly and focusing on shared objectives, you create an atmosphere where team members can collaborate, leading to a win-win solution that benefits everyone involved. There you have it, 10 powerful techniques to build bridges through words. Mastering these skills will not only transform your communication, but also elevate your personal and professional relationships. Remember, the power of connection lies within each word you speak. So go out there, communicate effectively, and build bridges that last a lifetime. Until next time, stay connected and keep rocking those conversations. I'll see you online soon.